click the bell icon to get latest videos from ekida Hello friends, in the previous topic we have discussed about the structure of amylose and in that case we have got to know that is amylose is nothing but it is a component of the starch and now here we are going to talk about the another component of the starch that is amylopectin. So now let us understand the structure of amylopectin. <music> So friends, in the previous topic we have discussed about the starch and in that case we have got to know that is 80 to 85% of the starch has a component that is known as amylopectin. So in that case let us understand the structure of the amylopectin. So friends, this is the structure of amylopectin where you can find that is this unit is very much similar to that of the previous one that is what we have talked about that is amylose. So here basically it is a polymer of the amylose that is what we can see over here. But talking about the amylopectin, amylopectin is a branched form of the amylose and that is how basically it is not only linear but here we can find a branching between carbon number 6 of one of the monosaccharide molecule and it is linking with the carbon number 1 of the another monosaccharide and which is forming basically a polysaccharide over here. So in that case basically we could find that is there is a branch between carbon number 6 and carbon number 1. So not only here there will be multiple units or there will be multiple sections where it could form a branch that's the reason that starch are insoluble in water and because of this property this are known as high molecular mass that is polysaccharide and in that case basically let me give you a certain idea that is here you can find that is between carbon number one and carbon number four that is there is alpha glycosidic linkage which is similar to that of the previous one that is for amylose as well as in maltose so here also the same thing is there you can see over here and the difference is only there is a formation of branching at a several unit or at a several interval of time the only difference is we could find that is a branching after several units so that's it so therefore this is the structure of amylopectin so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have understood this video very clearly and i hope i'll see you next time till then don't forget to subscribe channel. thank you so much